You could bring some much needed awareness. This is our chance to help women who can't help themselves. Thank you, Frances, and welcome to the discussion, Fa. Hello, guys. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's no problem, Fa. It's just one minute. All right, so as I was speaking of earlier, I said I was a little bit surprised that I was invited to host this discussion because I think that I'm part of the problem because it is my kind perpetuating gender-based violence. On the contrary, for that very reason you mentioned, men must take an active part in the fight against gender-based violence. You know, so that men start looking into the reason why some become abusers in the first place and now seek to change that. Absolutely. It affects us all. And if we must find a solution to this endemic, we all need to play a part, men and women. Exactly. It is a collective fight. You know, and men need to learn that they do not have a right to women's body. And they also need to unlearn whatever that they were taught that made them think that they do. I hear you. It is important for us to question how men who abuse grew up into being that way. I would like to think that nobody was born violent. It started from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all that aggression is as a result of upbringing and sometimes maybe even peer pressure. But that doesn't absolve men from having to take responsibility. Definitely. Uh, so let's open this up. Do we have any male viewers that want to share their experiences with us? Is there anybody that grew up thinking that treating women badly makes you a real man? We have a call already. Who's there? I know you. Avi's friend. Yeah, we were all schoolmates. What's up? What would you like to tell us? All this grammar won't the blue. Make I just break and down for now. Okay. When I was a boy, uh, you know, if you show small signs, say you get emotions like this, people go they look you say they weak, you know. And uh, me, I know make people they laugh me anyhow. So I, 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 I guess they form hard guy, hard guy, hard guy. You get. But now. I don't realize, see, I don't mess up gone. And uh, many people they will be say I don't offend. You get so I can't even think um say see what I mean. You think me say I guess that's a question only you can answer. I I I started the work for hospital and I don't they see good example of how to be responsible. But I be cleaner. And if they do me like say people they always look down on me because of that, get. But my friend they be been tell me one thing. He tell me say, see me can only look at that one. You get. See me can just go another level. See me can just do my work. You understand? Yo, he's totally right because you're making an honest living, and that's what really matters. I don't decide now. Say, I don't go to vex anyhow, or make her do things where they make people they feel bad. You know, like say make a para for my anyhow, you know, all that kind of thing. You know, make sense. You're right, let's see. Right now in my life, I don't want to be tied down to one relationship. So for me, casual dating was just perfect. I found it liberating. I still do. Okay, liberating is good, but with a bunch of partners, I hope condoms make an appearance, B. Of course, yo, no, I don't play those games. I used condoms, prep, I went the whole nine yards, friend. Prep, I know it. Well, that's a good choice, B. And you know what, better safe than sorry. So, are you dating anyone? Casually, I mean. I wish. Lockdown has just stolen my life. 
Before COVID, I could just go to a bar, pick up a guy and boom, I'm sorted. But now, oh, COVID is just ruining things for us single Pringles. I live there by sexual starvation and I hate it here. <laughs> um, well, hopefully things will get back to normal. I'm crossing my fingers and everything else. <laughs> oh, B. Look, I know I'm not your favorite person right now, but please can you just hear me out? I'm really sorry I was so mean to you when all you did was just warn me about Saul. Um, uh, it's no worries. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Thank you. So, do you still do those masks, the bedazzled ones? Yeah, do you still want one? I want a hundred, actually. Ngembel? Yeah, I want to do a giveaway. Masking up is super important right now. Ah, ha, ah, definitely, definitely. But you're gonna have to come get them. Do you mind that? No, 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 not at all. I saw on your page that I have to pick up from your door, zero contact. We're good, Shab. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mbeli. This massive order is going to save my business. You've got no idea. I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you, Mbeli. Thanks again. No, Zamor. Thank you. Honestly, I mean that. Okay. Bye bye. Bye <laughs> <Okay>, bye. <laughs> Mali, my daddy. What's up, Skim? Listen, all that stuff about masks don't matter, that was so wrong. And I just sat there and went along with you on your bullshit. Like, I, I feel so stupid and so should you. Come on, Mali, enough with that COVID hype nonsense now, right? Please. Dude, I have COVID. I tested positive not long after I was with you. You need to get tested too. <sighs> Dude, just relax, okay? <coughs> Just look at yourself. You're worse than you were yesterday. <sighs> I'm fine, dude, okay? I told you, it's just the flu. Aaron, you have COVID, buddy, and you're just fine. You're not sick, which proves my point exactly. And dude, I mean, come on. Hashtag Master and Matters trending number one, baby. Tell me. Angina Ndaba isn't a trend on Jenga Manj. People are dying. And yes, some people are asymptomatic like myself, but look at yourself. <coughs> you need to go to a hospital immediately and get tested. Please stop being mm. ridiculous. I'm begging you. I can't go to the hospital, my friend. You know that I'm gonna get stampeded by my fans. And I can't go to a private hospital either because, uh, well, I don't have medical aid and I'm, I'm broke. Really? Yeah. I know that things... <coughs> <clears throat> things may look flashy and all, but the reality is that there's just no money. COVID took away my regular gigs and um, the show that I host is shut down because of lockdown. So I'm only living off sponsors, you know, the clothing and the booze. But in terms of money, <sighs> I don't have any. Oh, Chumi, don't you even have like savings? Well, it's not like I knew that lockdown was going to happen, Bali, so no, I don't have any savings. In fact, um, in the Nayo is a couple of hundreds of rands. Hello for Brown, your songa. Amatsuela Mabini. And it's too little a massive region. I know, I'm a mess. <laughs> massive, I'm so sorry. I, I had absolutely no idea, friend. I didn't know. It's okay. I'll just have to spend my money better next time, you know? Lesson learned. Okay, guess what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna send you some money, and then I need you to go and get tested ASAP, right? After that, you go and you buy yourself some groceries, and then whatever's left, you keep in the bank, just in case. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And Tommy, 
please just stop with that mask don't matter it's it's dangerous for you for me and everyone if you have any questions about covid-19 text the word covid to +41798931892 on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.